Hey guys, in this video, I would like to be brutally honest with you. Stop rushing. Stop rushing to download random presets and apply them to your image without knowing exactly how it works and which kind of image these presets are meant for. For this preset, I'm about to share with you in this video. If you load it onto your image, load presets, it's called the color popping presets. If you load it onto your image right here in camera Raw or Lightroom, this is the result you get if you just load it onto your image. It has actually popped the color. But this is not the best result you can get by applying this preset on your image. The first thing you do to your image when you load them into Camera Raw is not to collaborate them. So it's never advisable for you to now go and start applying presets to your image once you just load them into Camera Raw. Instead, first of all, you color correct your image. For this image, you can see that it's an outdoor image and we like the colors of the grasses, the trees and the background to come out. How do you do that? You have to now come to the color section. This is the color section. This is the new camera row, camera row 16. If you are using camera row 15 and downward, the interface is going to be slightly different, but all the sliders are present. Just that the whole thing have been rearranged in the new version of camera row. So you find your vibrance and then you increase the vibrance. While increasing the vibrance, you can see that the colors of the grasses are now popping, they are now getting well saturated. Now, don't use the saturation if you are to increase the colors, if you are to saturate the colors in an image that contains a portrait, that contains a human being, because the saturation is going to destroy the color of the skin. It's going to introduce unpleasant color cast. So it's to use the vibrance. You can see why you increase the sliders of the vibrance. The image is now getting saturated without destroying the skin tone. It preserves the skin tone. So use the vibrance to pop the color. Another way of improving the colors of your image is to come to your color profile. And now use the correct color profile for the image. This is an other image. The landscape color profile is going to give you the best and most saturated, beautiful saturated colors. You can see the other ones, the faithful, the neutral, the portrait, the standard, and the monochrome. All these color profiles have different images they work for. But for outdoors that has grasses and sky like this, and you want to pop the colors, use the landscape. So after selecting the landscape like this, and we come back, Take a look at the before and the after. Here was the before and here is the after. Now the colors of this image is already coming out. But there are still a few steps you are going to take to bring the best out of this model. Now you make sure your image has the correct white balance. If you want to know if your image is having the correct white balance or not, you look at an area of the image that is supposed to be white. If it's not white, then it means the color balance is not correct. Now, if you zoom into the eye of this model, you can see that the eye is too yellow. Now, it means you have to reduce the temperature a little bit so that it introduces white into the eye. So, by reducing the temperature, you can also check if the image is having too much magenta in it. If the magenta is much, then what do you do? You move the thin slider to the left to introduce green. Why, if the image is looking too greenish, you move the slider to the right to introduce magenta so for this we are going to reduce the tint to zero and now observe the image if it's either too green or having too much magenta and in the both case you can see that the white balance is not correct with that just look at the color of the dress see the before see the after take a look at the skin see the before see the after look at the beautiful hair now our image have been accurately color corrected. It has not yet been color graded, but the foundation has been set so well that when we color grade it, the result is going to come out very, very amazing. Just look at the sky. See how bluish and beautiful the sky is looking. So now we'll go into Photoshop. Now in Photoshop, the first thing we do is to crop the image. We are going to crop four by five as per ratio. So now for you color grade your image, you can work on the skin. You work on the skin of your image before color grading. Now this model is barely having any pimples, so we are going to retouch the image. 
instead of wasting our time going through all the long process of retouching, we use the autofix FS. So if you just play the autofix FS action, this is the result you are going to get on your image. Here was the before and here is the after. It's a one-click action that works for both headshots, full body shots, and all kind of portrait retouching. It works for portrait retouching. See the before, see the after. Let's zoom very close so that I see how it works on this image. See the before. Look at all these color patches here and there. Now see the after. See how they have been all smoothing out. With just this, we no longer need to do frequent separation and all that. Because while it's smoothing the skin, it retains this texture. So you can see that it's a very powerful one-click action. If there's any pimples you are seeing on the image, just take your spot healing brush and now paint on that spot to remove the pimples. So it's as easy as that. If you need the autoface FS action, check the link in the description. It's just one dollar. So if you are willing to contribute one dollar to this channel so that you can increase your retouching speed and get more amazing results on your skin retouching, check the link in the description. The action works very fast. It's just a one-click to get this beautiful look now see how our image is looking one thing to take note of is this after applying the action just see how it affects the hair or any other part of the image that you might not like the results just add a layer max and control i to invert the layer max now the action effect has been removed take your brush make sure the foreground is white adjust your flow and now paint on the areas you want the action to affect it's very easy as that so that you know exactly the results you are getting. Maxing is a very powerful and handy tool in Photoshop. So make sure you use of it anytime you need to. So just like that, you brush and remove the effect. If you click on the four slash key, you can see where it has been maxed and where the max effect has been removed. So we are just painting roughly to just get this skin retouched with this amazing action. It's one click. Here was the before, here is the after. Check the link in the description to get it. So now that we are done with dodging, there are other things we can do like dodging and burning. I've made a full in-depth tutorial on how to dodge and burn easily. And the tutorial is on this channel. You can check the channel for that tutorial. So after retouching an image like this, you right click, flatten the image, duplicate the background layer. Now we can name this color grid. And now we can come to filter, we are going back into camera row. So right now in camera row, we can load our preset. We load the preset, color popping preset, and this is the result you are going to get. If you think the skin is looking too yellow, you can use the temperature slider to gradually reduce that. So now our skin is beautifully saturated. We can also adjust the individual slider. So when you understand the process, after applying presets and the result is looking oversaturated or undersaturated, you know the sliders to move, to balance the things out because preset is just like a scaffold that is going to fasten the process, that is going to show you the right direction. So like that, once you are done applying this preset, you can now click on OK to come back into Photoshop. So right here in Photoshop, we can now, you can see the before and the after. Can I adjust the opacity like this? See now the before. Just take a look at the color, the after. Now you see everything is now looking pleasant. If we've not understood how to go about this, the result you are going to get is not going to look as pleasing as this. You can now add your adjustment layers, your color adjustment layer, like the selective color. You can add the selective color. Now you can choose the color channel you want, like the reds. The red targets the skin tone and the red in the hair or any other parts that there's red in the image, but maybe she's wearing a red clothes. Now you can adjust the individual color like this. You can adjust the individual color. You can add cyan to the red or add reds to the reds. You can add magenta to the reds or add greens to the reds. You can add yellow. So all this adjustment you're making is to now give the image your own unique color grading after setting it up with the preset. Link to get the preset is in the description. It's absolutely free. So after doing that, you can now come to the yellow and make adjustment also to the yellow. Photoshop has this layer marks, so you can control I to invert the layer marks. Take your brush and paint on the area you targeted to add this beautiful color grading. Come on, look at this image. 
It's now coming out amazingly. Wow. If you already like the result you are seeing, please smash the like button. Please like this video and leave a fire emoji in the description. This is a superb method of color grading using your own knowledge and experience and also the free preset that link is going to be provided in the description. So after making the adjustment to the skin like this, we can now target other colors. The best adjustment for targeted color grading is the selective color because it's super easy and very powerful. So you can see the greens, we can change the color of the greens. You see, this is also beautiful if you want this kind of style or this kind of style. So just how easy it is to color grade once you know exactly what you're doing. When I see the cyan, see the cyan, you can add more cyan. See how beautiful everything is looking. Most times, once you get the process right, anywhere you move the adjustment, you're going to get a color grading that is pleasant. But is that what you're going for? That's a question that's left for only you to answer. So just learn how to do it like this. And you can always reduce opacity. You can add a layer mark so that you target a particular area. Now to bring focus to our model, we are going to use the elliptical marking tool, make a selection like this, create a curves adjustment, bring down the point from the mid tone, take off the shadows, Ctrl I to invert, change the blend mode to luminance. Now come to the properties by clicking on the layer. If it's not showing you click on this icon right here. Now you fader, just like this. Wow. Here was the before and here is the after. Here was the before and here is the after. Let's zoom in. Take a look at the skin of this model. Don't forget how we got it retouched. Don't forget how we took it from. Don't forget how we took the skin from looking like this to looking like this. We use the autofix FS action. Link to get the autofix FS action is in the description. You can see the eyes containing silver colors. To remove that, we can create a hue saturation adjustment. Now we target the eye. Use the hand picker tool to target the eye. The eye yellow is in the eye, so we are going to remove that yellow. As easy as this. Now you control I to invert. Take your brush, make sure your foreground is white. You paint on the eye like this to remove the yellow. If there's any other color in areas that are supposed to be white, just create a black and white adjustment. Control I to invert. Take your brush and gradually paint on those areas to remove any color present. This is super easy. So you can take your time to do that. So see, it's very easy to clean up the eye. Let's group these two eye adjustments together. Eye. Let's zoom in to take a look at the before and after. Here was the before and here is the after. It's very easy to clean up the eye using this method I just showed you. Our image is now looking very beautiful, very beautiful. We can sharpen it by coming to filter, sharpen, use the smart sharpen to sharpen our image. I leave the values at default, and now you click on OK to sharpen our image. Now you see it's over sharpened, so you can reduce the opacity of the sharpening until it looks natural, something very gradual like this. There are several other things we can do to this image that are beyond the scope of these tutorials. There's something you want to learn, there's something struggling with your photography or Photoshop, please let me know in the comment section right now. Share this video to other platforms so that other photographers and retouchers can easily watch and learn how to color grade very easily. Link to get a free preset is in the description. Like this video if you haven't already. Leave a fire emoji in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips, tricks, and photography tutorials. I'm happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.